I'm Paul Nordell. So I've retired about a year and a half ago with the Adopt a River program. So for 25 years I was involved in the river cleanup. And, and we got, I don't know, maybe six and a half million pounds. And some people say, well, that's not a whole lot. But how much do you think a million pounds of styrofoam takes up? And in that island, Pig's Eye Island, which is just over here, catches thousands of bottles and anything that floats. So it was a, a real interesting place, a focal point for uh, river cleanups in this area. What's right here flows downstream, and downstream is the Gulf of Mexico. We have approximately one ton of plastic floating around the ocean for every person on the planet. So we're, we're in these cycles, we're trying to get out of that clean up, mess up, clean up. We're trying to have it clean all the time. The fascinating thing about this and the restoration of the eagles, it's how accommodating the wildlife is to the development of the city, how they can coexist. I mean, that's the biggest surprise to see bald eagles all over the place. Most of the stuff that's being pulled out of the river now comes right off of our streets. So the thing that we can do here is make sure that our streets don't flush a lot of debris, a lot of chemicals into the river. The Adopt a River program still is alive and well, so you can check on the website. You know, some people get upset when they see the trash. I get excited because it's something you can remove. There's something you can do. And the payoff is to come and see this sort of thing.